Hello everyone, welcome to part 4 of the SAP RAP application development series. In the last three sessions, we have seen about the RAP architecture, understand, understood what we have to implement, which are the artifacts that we'll have to create. Now, in this section, we will actually deep dive into a hands-on and create our first application using RAP. In this section, we will develop a simple list report application, understand some basic annotations that we can implement to make our UI better. So let's get started. In order to understand, and in, in our last session, we have actually in, connected our BTP cloud using the ABAP instance to our Eclipse. And in that session, I've told you that we will not be having VBA, K, VBA, P, all those transactional tables there. It makes sense because cloud allows you to only create your application, but the data has to come from your legacy system, the S4 system, backend system. But with the trial account, SAP has actually provided some demo flight reference having some travel related data along with the complete uh, re related tables uh, with some some test data that we can use in our case as can be seen here agency customer flight connections airport supplement and supplement text are the master data that is storing like the agency will store the agency related data the flight will store the flight related data for going from which to which connection from uh, will have the connection data carrier is nothing but the airline the airline data it will also has it also has three transactional tables travel each travel can have one or multiple booking and each booking can have a booking supplement like uh, as, as can be seen supplement can be the meals that you order some additional supplement that you want to order during your booking in our scenario we are going to uh, take one of this is a connection okay that stores the flight connection details and create a simple uh, read only application for uh, to understand how we are how rap works now before we actually dive into it i just wanted to inform that if you connect your abap uh, instance and if you don't see these tables already there you can go to this github sample and along with the your your version of hana version read with me are there follow these steps and then these tables will be made available for you now connection will be used now dmo connection table will use the steps that we are going to follow is we will create as we know that okay in, in RAP we have to first <coughs> uh, create our model <coughs> then we create the business uh, definition and the, then the conception now so in this case we will be creating our interface view based on the connection table Okay. but we are not going to create any projection view ideally we should create it but 
we will not create in this scenario because we are not doing any current operation so we don't need any actions or behavior to be defined and to just to understand how rap framework works that is the reason we are keeping it simple here we will create a service definition to expose the entity and then a binding to create a o data and finally we will just preview the application we will also then try to understand few of the annotations you know to understand what that annotation does and how it helps the uh, to to uh, enhance our application now the steps that we are will be doing is first we will start with the data modeling okay then we will create uh, service provisioning that is nothing but O data, and then finally we will weave the data the application in the fury so let's get started in our last session we have already connected our we have created uh, connected one instance and we have created a zmax tutorial package <coughs> now the idea is that we we always have to have a separate package so that all the related objects are grouped together so in this scenario since we will be creating a read only application and going ahead i will also create a managed as well as unmanaged i'll see how how this tutorial goes so my plan is to create a separate sub packages for this tutorial separately okay since i was I was not connected it is asking me to connect back let me quickly connect to the PTP and we will name the package as c m a k s redo application package for connection application next next select the tr and finish okay. so this is done as we know that okay we will be first trying to connect the dmo connection this particular database table okay so, so for that first let us create a new interface entity for that right click say new other objects and you say data definition the name will be Z I will say MAKS. This is the interface of connection. Some description 
interface v4 connection next select the dr click on next and now here we we see that okay define view is there but it is now obsolete okay. you know so the idea is to create a view entity and finish what it does is it has actually created a interface view and it will allow us to select the data from our connection table so let's say dmo connection press control and space and it will give you a context help okay come down and here you again control and space and say insert all elements it will read all the data all the fields and it will give a corresponding name to the interface fields the properties now here you see all the fields have been done but we also have a distance which will have a distance unit so if we activate and try to view the data okay open with data preview it will fetch all the data for the connection now as you see it says connection airport from airport to how many kilometer are there so this distance and the distance unit they both are linked these are called semantic fields now before we actually do it we have to maintain the semantically related dependent elements we have to relate them how that is been done is as you can see we have the semantic amount field or the currency field uh, amount field related to the currency quantity field related to the measure uh, unit of measure similarly we have user related semantic fields system related system date and time related you know semantic fields in this case since we have a distance which is nothing but the unit of measure is quantity we will say at the rate semantic dot mine is a quantity field and my unit of measure is the distance unit field so these two are linked to each other now activate by pressing ctrl f3 you can always press shift f1 to uh, to format the the code there which is being generated okay now this is giving me a unit of measure okay open with data preview and as can be seen okay the data is properly shown now on top of this we will be creating now you see this has been added here a core data service a data definition and our connection is done we are not going to create any projection view rather we are using this same interface view that is not the ideal way of doing but for practice purpose since this is our first uh, rap application that we are doing we are keeping it keep simple so on top of this we are creating
we are creating a new service definition now the name what i am will be giving is cmaks service definition for connection i will write service definition for connection it's a definition see here you can actually define or you can extend extension will talk later uh, or maybe i'm not sure whether i will be doing something on the extension but let's see so source type is definition click on next select the relevant tr click on next and it only has define service template that allows us to define the service and expose the related entities once you click finish since we have already created uh, it by right clicking on the interface it has actually given us the code directly otherwise you can go on expose whatever you want to expose here any any entities that is part of your uh, part of your uh, current project or you can also expose the bo's which are not part of your project like the currency you can expose i can expose i dmo or oh sorry i underscore currency there is a data source as currency i can do this as well but in this case i am not doing it i will be just exposing and giving it an alias name so that we are we can actually understand it better shift f1 and control f3 to save now once the service definition is created you will see that in the business service service definition and on top of this you now create a service binding we will say gmaks service binding connection for connection service binding for connection read only app mandatory part is to select the binding type and this will tell you which type of o data you want to create now you can actually create o data version 2 for ui or version 4 for ui similarly you can create a web api for uh, version 2 and version 4 web api will be an api that will be generated that will be created by third party systems ina or sql web api we will be more focusing on o data for ui so in this case we are creating o data version 2 for ui click on next select the respective tr and click on finish now once this uh, service binding is created you see it says to enable publish of local endpoint activate you have to activate this first without which you cannot go ahead and publish it so once you activate it will tell you that okay this is now activated we have to actually publish it is currently not published you see local service endpoint is not publish publish the local service to weave the service url now you can either click on this link or you can use this button to publish or unpublish so let me click on that publish the o data that we have created what this will do is behind the scene it will actually create 
read all the related information, create the service URL for us with all the related metadata in it. We can view this service uh, using the service URL you see here as we connections uh, if you click this service URL it will take you to uh, the data and it will give you the connection uh, the the service in related information now we know we can see the metadata as well you see dollar dollar metadata we, now what this does is it will display us the uh, metadata of the service now the the important part to understand here or to see here is that it has created a one entity of the name connection which has two key fields as we have seen in our thing we have carrier id and connection id as the field we have all the other fields displayed here uh, but the important thing is that for the distance it has actually linked the unit to this particular distance with the distance unit field here it can be seen here okay uh, it also has actually taken currency and all those sap related unit of measure things which are which we don't have to worry on we have to just focus on our our uh, our uh, our entities right similarly going down you will also have uh, the associations if we have any but there are there is nothing here and in our entity container we have our connection as well defined here okay so this is the metadata file that we can see it also has all the related annotations and stuff like that and this is the file that is being used by the SAP Fiori framework, the Fiori element framework to actually read and create the data, uh, the, the application. Now, so now in order to, oops, the, the service URL is ready, the O data is ready, the O data is published. Do we need to go and create a Fiori application? No, we don't need. But in with this latest version of Eclipse, it allows us to either directly go and create a Fiori project and it also allows us to preview. So select your entity set and you, if you click on preview, it will launch the Fiori application. It will create a Fiori application using the SADL framework and it will display you the Fiori application. Now, you see here there are no column visibles right now this is the standard sap fiori element uh, report list report uh, kind of element which we can use to display the data you know, with along with so how it works is it has a topmost part where you can go and click on this adapt filter to filter your data okay i will say okay no, uh, please show me the the app for which i need to data and what are the columns that i have to see i have to click here we will select whatever columns we need okay i'll select all the columns for that matter and when i click on go button the framework will run behind the scene and it will read the data from connection table and provide the details here now one thing that we can see here is that first of all even though in our system we have flight distance and distance unit as the light one flight number was not after flight distance but it is actually showing how it does is it will just take the field names in the 
ascending order of the field name right you see at a is all the field names with a coming first then b c d like that one more thing we need to understand is that we have a flight distance that is now linked to kilometer the unit of measure you see because of the semantic annotations that we have mentioned even though we have the uh, distance unit field as a separate field okay when we click here generally it goes to another detail page in fury element terminology it is called the object page currently there is nothing there because we have not done anything so we will see how we can actually enhance our application you can anytime you can refresh this application to if you do any changes at the back end refresh this application and you will see the related changes here now what we understand is that uh, we have a basic rap structure that is been given to us and we now can go and enhance our application that we will do in our next session because the video is becoming longer so before we actually wrap up for this session please do like share and surprise subscribe and provide your comments thank you and happy learning